You have nothing to lose by letting me try. If I'm mistaken, or don't manage to convince you, we both know that I have little chance of escaping. You're very clever. What proves to me you won't try to run away? My father is in the custody of your guards, and as odious as he may be, Chevigny is my friend. Anyhow, there's no way out that isn't in clear sight of your guards. Very well. So will you tell me at last who your mysterious suspect is? Someone so clever that today he seems above suspicion. You make far too much of a mystery of it for me. What's the best way to be suddenly cleared of any suspicion? To have someone else accused in your place. To pass for a victim. Exactly, Your Majesty. Pretend to be dead. If you send someone to check, you'll see the scribe's body is not in the chapel. But how is that possible? With an accomplice like your apothecary, many things become possible. So he is alive also? I don't know that, but he must have taught the scribe some of his secrets. I can't say your explanation has convinced me, but I will let you try your luck. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll leave you a little time, but don't take too long to put your plan into action. When you hear the bells toll, you'll know I'm not far. That will be the moment, if ever, to make him talk. One last question, nonetheless. How did you discover the existence of those underground galleries? It's Philibert, the Chateau Librarian, who found them. Till now, I've just followed in his footsteps. According to his notes, he was about to discover a sanctuary when he died. That's where I have to take over. Don't let me down, young lady. I am not always so indulgent. Oh, I was about to forget. You don't need all your disguises anymore. Give them to me. I prefer to know you're dressed as a young woman, rather than have a chameleon in the household. Very well, Your Majesty. In his notes, Philibert speaks of pagan sites of worship over which churches and chapels were built. If that's the case of the sanctuary he was looking for, there might be one near here. I have the feeling I'm on the right track, but I'm still missing an essential element. I may have what you're looking for, but first... Don't worry about the dizziness. It'll pass quickly. Unless you're very sensitive to poison, dear Madeline. What? I made you swallow a few drops of a preparation that is, shall we say, particularly noxious. If you cooperate, I shall give you the antidote. Otherwise, you'll merely be one more victim. How could I trust an assassin? You have no choice. I don't know exactly what you found in Philibert's affairs, but I'm sure you're looking for the same thing I am. What are you talking about? Don't waste your time. You haven't much left. There is a sanctuary somewhere under this chateau, which must surely contain a treasure. And considering how interested you are in the late Philibert's research, you surely have an idea on how to find it. No. I don't know where it is, nor even if it really exists. Of course it does. The librarian wasn't the type to get excited for no reason. There's a very good chance we can get into it from this chapel. At least, that's what he thought. Look at what I found on the altar. I'm sure it's related to the treasure. Figure again. The figures inscribed on the glass are set at the tips of the pentagram's five points, like in Jean Aimé's engraving.
Well? I don't know yet. Unbelievable. Once again, Father's predictions turn out to be exact. He thought I had a special part to play in this adventure, but from there to imagine that my first name would be the key. Now, I have to figure out how to put this to use. Why did you kill Philibert? A victim closer to Queen Catherine would have fit better with the idea of a curse. We had already met a long time ago. There was a risk he'd raise suspicions about me, if he revealed the circumstances of that encounter. Also, I knew he wasn't here by chance. He has always pursued ancient ruins. So I could both serve the curse and find a treasure. How could I resist? To tell the truth, I almost abandoned the quest, until I realized you were also on the trail of the prize. So I decided to let you search for me. How can a man of God stoop to such crimes? For gain, as well as from conviction. All right now, enough talking. If you want to live, you'd better find my treasure. And time's running out. Did you notice any strange inscriptions in a script quite different from ours? On the capitals, for example? Perhaps. I'll go see. Again? Ah! It just doesn't stop. That has to be the twelfth one in just a few days. Twelve? You're sure of that? I'm pretty sure. When twelve times catastrophe has told. What if the prophecy referred to the earthquakes and not to deaths? So those quatrains might end up fulfilling themselves.
I knew you'd be able to deal with these pagan inventions. You're a veritable witch. Every sign, one by one, in the tomb. There are tombs under each of these columns, and signs on all the capitals. It looks like the prophecy is proving true. Perfect. Go down first. There may be some obstacles to get around, and it seems to me you've a talent for that. The bells. The Queen will be arriving any minute now. I have to find this treasure in a hurry. Once his greed is satisfied, the monk should prove more willing to talk. Hurry up. Get down. I'm searching! The room is small, but maybe there's a passage I haven't yet noticed. Gold. You have your treasure at last. Give me the antidote. I'm impressed. I didn't think you would get this far alive. Unfortunately, I'm sure you'll understand that I can't let you leave. You're nothing but a vulgar murderer. That's true. But somebody has to accomplish the dirty work. And look how God has rewarded me with all this wealth. You're not working for God. But for a man who's thirsting for power, the Cardinal of Lorraine, who's planning to kill young Henry of Navarre because he's afraid he could ascend to the throne someday. You are decidedly more clever than I had thought. To be sure, Henry must die. And Queen Catherine, who is far too clement with the reformists, must be forced once and for all from power. And believe me, after all these murders of which your family will be accused, her gullibility will be apparent, and even the king, her son, will no longer be able to trust her. What I really think is that your words and your greed will cost you. You should have left this morning. The queen knows you're alive, and after the confession you've just made, you won't survive for very long after me. What? Her majesty must be in the chapel now, listening to your sinister words. That's impossible. Now 
our dark clouds no longer threaten our future nor the future of the royal family. All that took place in this temple has metamorphosed the course of time. And the scribe? What was his fate? He disappeared under all the rubble, and you yourself had great luck to escape from there in time. The last aftershock was terrible. Uh, I'll never let you put yourself between me and my treasure! Uh, uh, This sanctuary was profaned a long time ago. Since that day, the She awaits your coming. You have accomplished the sacrifice that at last returns it to peace, at least for the moment. 